This video will explain linking assets. Linked assets are separate assets that you'd prefer to be treated as one unit. As an example, in this list of assets, the assets that have asset tag IDs between A100 and A104 are all pieces of our mobile AV unit. When a sales rep goes to present our products, he or she brings this whole set of assets, the laptop, the monitor, the tablet, the speakers, and the cart for his or her presentation. It's more efficient for them to be treated like one linked unit because they're always used together. To link them, click View on any of the assets in the list. Click Linking. Make sure that this box is checked. Now you have to decide which of the group of assets is the parent, which makes all the other assets the child assets, or children. Basically, which asset is the most important? That one becomes the parent. In this case, the laptop is the most expensive, and nothing works without the laptop, so that's the logical parent asset. Here we have the information on the cart, a child asset. Click on Link Parent Asset, which is where you can assign the laptop as the parent of the cart. Use the box to search by description or asset tag ID. I type in Mobile AV and up pops suggestions. I can click right here on the laptop. Or the same search box works by typing in the asset tag ID. Click Link. And now you can see this asset, the cart, is a child asset. The parent asset is the laptop. And at any time you can unlink these by using this button. Now to add the other pieces of the mobile AV unit to the linked group, you can go to each asset and follow this process, but it's a little bit quicker to click on the parent asset and add the children from there. So I click on the asset tag ID for the laptop. I also could have gone back to the list to find it or use the search box. Regardless, here we are on the information for the laptop. Click Linking. Here again you'll see the laptop is the parent and the cart is the child. To add the rest of the children, click Link Child Asset. I'll use the search box and add the other pieces. Great, now all the pieces of the mobile AV unit are linked. To see them in the list of assets, click here. Clearly you can now see that the parent is marked with a red chain icon and the children are marked with a blue chain icon. To show you how they're now operating as a unit, let's say an employee wants to check out the entire kit. Click on any of the assets in the group. Under More Actions, pull down to check out. Down on the bottom of the window, you'll see the whole linked list. I'm going to assign the mobile AV unit to one of our employees, Patricia McNamara. And click Check Out. Here you can see the status says Checked Out. When you go to the list of assets, in fact, the whole linked set is checked out. But there's also a way to mark your assets as linked, but maintain the ability to treat each one of the pieces separately. In this list of assets, B001 through B006 are all pieces of a toolkit. There's a toolbox, two screw guns, a drill, and two sanders. If you want to grab the toolbox with just the drill and the sander, you can do that. I'll show you the difference here when I click View on the toolbox. Click Linking to get the linking information. Currently, the box Transact as a Whole is checked. So like the mobile AV unit, all of these pieces are considered one linked unit. If you uncheck that, take a look at how that's reflected in the list of assets. The red and blue icons still tell you the pieces are related, but you can opt for just the toolbox, the drill, and the sander. The mobile AV unit, which only has one checkbox, can only operate as one unit. But the toolbox is several pieces, all of which are related. They're linked, but not indivisible. 
Linking assets is helpful when you're checking assets out, when you're scheduling maintenance, or when you want to sell assets, etc. Pretty much anything you use Asset Tagger for, you can do it with individual or linked assets. If you have any questions about linking or anything else involved with Asset Tagger, feel free to call or email. To find our contact information, click Help Support and contact us.